Armistice Day is commemorated every year on November 11th to mark the cessation of hostilities on the Western Front of World War I, which took effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. A two minute silence is observed at 11 o'clock local time. It's a sign of respect for all those who passed and all those left behind. This is a Battlefield 1 tribute to those people. Now, today I want to tell you a story of bravery and gallantry, something a bit different on the channel. So I had to look at some different stories from World War I um, about bravery and gallantry, hero kind of stuff, and I came across Sergeant John Meikle. Now, Sergeant John Meikle is the only Scottish railwoman to be awarded the Victoria Cross. The Victoria Cross is the highest and most prestigious award for gallantry in the face of the enemy that can be awarded to British and Commonwealth forces. Gallantry is defined as courageous behaviour, especially in battle, and that is exactly how I would describe the actions of Sergeant John Meikle on the day of July 20th, 1918. Born in the town of Kirkintilloch, Scotland, John was the fifth of 12 children. When he first tried to enlist in order to aid his countrymen fighting the Great War, he was rejected due to his small appearance, which is ironic considering that his surname comes from the old Scots for large. Sergeant Meikle finally joined the army at age 16 years old, lying about his age to gain entry. The age requirement at that time was 18. Now just think about that for a second, he lied in order to join the army two years early during a time that we were at war. He knew he would be sent into battle and without hesitation he went. Awarded the military medal and promoted from the ranks, Sergeant Meikle fought and was wounded at the Somme. Sent home to his barracks in Maryhill, Glasgow, he recovered from his injuries and immediately returned to active combat in France. Now this is where things can get a bit more brutal. Sergeant Meikle staged the first of two one-man attacks against a German machine gun post which had pinned down his company of the 4th Battalion Seaforth Highlanders. Armed only with a pistol and a dagger, as Victoria Cross citation states, he emptied his revolver into the crews of the two guns and put the remainder out of action with a heavy stick. Shortly afterwards, seizing a rifle and bayonet from a fallen comrade, he charged another machine gun post, but was cut down a few yards from his target. His bravery enabled two other men who followed him to put this gun out of action. John managed to kill or incapacitate two machine gun crews, normally eight men, with a stick and a revolver, after somehow surviving a 150 yard dash under a hail of fire. Sergeant Meikle was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross for his bravery at the Second Battle of Marne. Now the brave young soldier will be commemorated with a paving stone inscription at Nitz Hill Station in Glasgow, where he worked as a real woman over a hundred years ago. As we play out our battles and skirmishes online, making push after push, trying to outwit each other with the best plays or the best melee kills, take a moment to think what it must have been like for Sergeant John Meikle, charging head first into a hail of gunfire, knowing that he would most certainly die. Ask yourself this. Could you do it? Sergeant John Meikle, a braver man than I.